Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm in the Matram bubble in Peterborough. And I'm joined by the bomber, Mr. Tony Belly. How are you, Tony? I'm all right, thanks, mate. Thank you very much. Trying to race home to get to my kids to take one to football. So it is what it is. This won't be a long one, but I will get everything out as fast as I possibly can. How are you? I'm good, mate. I'm good. It's my first time speaking to yourself as well. So I would say, I'll say I'm honoured. Um, you're part of the Matram furniture. It's like every Matram bubble, the bomber's there. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, I love being around the lads. Frank, uh, Steady, there's so many. Ross, Hammer Time, they're all good lads, mate. There's so many to name here. So, you know, I love being around them. I always used to love doing business with them, but now working alongside them is just fantastic, mate. It's great. I just want to jump straight into sort of a Twitter conversation between you and Eddie. Um, they call me a cynic, but I, I, I believe it was set up. I'm just going to say then that you're talking on the phone. You're good, mate. Surely yeah. that conversation about your fight, Shakespeare, who's going to be potentially fighting on the show um, with Kate Baker. Talk to you about that conversation and just answer the question. Was it set up? No, it wasn't. What happened is when I arrived at fight camp, uh, I pulled up at the gates and Peter Fiori was trying to be ushered out because he'd failed the COVID test, obviously. So he said, don't go back uh, to the lobby and the fight's uh, off. And I was like, oh, that must mean that straight away in my mind, I'm, I'm whinging at, at Eddie to try and get me fighters some fights. And I said, they're ready, they'll pull in last minute, whatever. And I said, I thought, spare fight straight away. Well, I phoned Eddie and as per usual, he didn't answer the phone. Uh, which has happened ever since I've retired, to be honest. It's very hard for him to get him to answer the phone these days. So I phoned and phoned and phoned, uh, no answer, no answer. And then I thought, do you know what? I'll just, because I'll, I'll, I'm in isolation, I've just done my COVID test, I've gone to my room and I, I can't speak to no one. So I'm watching Countdown, as I always do, and then that follows on by Tipping Point and then that follows on by The Chase. And uh, in the midst of all this i just put a thought the fastest way to get older the end these days is just go on social media and believe it or not it actually was so uh i'd messaged them over the last few weeks trying to get the fighters out you know the likes of you know your luke willis craig glover i've got thomas with the heart out on 14th of november uh, and then trying to get me shakespeare on and he was just like tone what am i supposed to do what have i forgotten and so when i put it on social media i thought right he has to respond to this I think I don't know how long it took him to respond, but he's responded. Uh, and Kane Baker's now jumped on. So, you know, yes, it's it's premeditated, but in no way, shape or form was like, did we make this fight beat until... It's still not fully made. They've got to get past COVID tests. The, I've just had to sign a contract management form for Mishak Spear. Uh, and there was other things going on yesterday. So it's not in, in shape of them completely done, but, it, you know, it's 90% there now. It's weird because after his defeat to Akib Fiaz, Kane sort of suggested that he might call it a day and two weeks later he's back in the match bubble so you haven't just got him a fight you've actually got Shaq a fight that can withstand on a card during these times yes definitely and as I said uh, Shaq is just someone who needs to be out I'm, I'm regular I'm fighting regularly it's tough this is a lad with five kids uh, he's not earning and, and times are hard meeting this pandemic no you know the government ain't fail on boxes the government ain't helping but pay boxes because you just don't earn enough money to. So I don't know what they're supposed to do. You know, the boxing community is absolutely at death's door at the minute. It really is. And without these platforms and without the people like Eddie, it would literally fall off the face of the earth. So, you know, the lads are grateful to him. Uh, and it's brilliant what he's putting on. I know you said you haven't got too long, so jump into some heavyweight stuff. Um, Wilder Fury will categorically not happen in 2020. He's going to have his December the 5th UK return uh, at the Royal Albert Hall. Was you disappointed to hear that we won't get the trilogy? Was you pleased in a way because you feel like the first two fights had done enough to cement Fury over Wilder? I don't know if anyway, you know, I think he beat him in the first two fights uh, pretty clearly in my opinion. And the only need for the third fight was to, to give Deontay Wilder his pension fund out of boxing in my opinion. So, uh, I'm happy. It, I'm happy. It's not happening. Make no mistake. You know, Deontay Wilder's got many places to go with that punch. Me, you've just got to be very careful whoever whoever he sets eyes on. 
Uh, it'll be great to see Fiori back out. You know, he, he's, he's needed now for British boxing. He is. He's, he's a huge name. The sooner him and AJ get down to business, the better. That, that's what we all want to see. That's the biggest fight this country's ever seen in our in in any lifetime in any era. That will be the biggest fight this country will ever see. Yeah, and obviously Wilder was a block towards that, and I suppose whoever Fury would fight with here in WBC top fifteen, the Jagbar, Cabayel, Charles Martin. Um, realistically, will Fury favour more to go forward into the Joshua fight? But who do you want to see? I mean, we can put these WBC names forward, but we'd still want to see a credible opponent in the lead up, considering Joshua's still got Pulev to overcome. Yeah, Pulev's a really, really hard fight, mate. Pulev's a brilliant fighter, very strong, very powerful, uh, great amateur pedigree and background. So. Do not overlook Kubrat Pulev. We learnt our lesson by overlooking Andy Ruiz last time, so you know no one can be overlooked in the heavyweight division. Who would I like to see Fiori face in the heavyweight division? I mean, why not Dillian White? Would have been perfect. You know, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure if if they just said now to Dillian White, we'll give you a shot. Well, he can't come off the back of a loss to Vivek, and so he wants to revenge that loss to Vivek. And uh, I don't know because. The heavyweight division is so, you know. Is this a situation where we need Usyk and Chisora potentially not to be tied in together? Eh, but I don't know. I mean, Delboy's faced Tyson Fury twice, so you know that that, that that's not going to happen. Eh, Usyk maybe, yes. Eh, do you know what? If if they're so happy and willing for Daniel Dubois to face Dillian White, who's on the verge of a world title, why not just throw Dilly, Daniel Dubois in with Tyson Fury? It's an easy fight to make. You both in the same stable. So, well, I think you are. I don't even know if you are. Well, Bob Adams is promoted, I believe. So, uh, so I, I don't know. I'm sure there's logistics and all that stuff to go on and camps and whatever, but I don't know. What I do know is Tyson Fury's got 15 names he can face in, in his division. Uh, I don't know the rankings for the heavyweights at the minute, but I'm sure he'll find a suitable opponent. So, to come on to Usyk and <clears throat> Chisora, obviously, you shared the ring with Alexander Usyk. Uh, You've been on record saying that you feel like Usyk could clean up or has the potential to clean up at the heavyweight division. I saw your Sky prediction that you thought Chisora could knock Usyk, Usyk out. Does this sort of highlight the fact that this is a fight closer than many people would imagine and this ain't a walkover for a man who's only had one fight at heavyweight? It's not a walkover by any stretch of the imagination. Derek Chisora never gives anyone an easy night. So this is his real test, first test at, at the new weight division, uh, at the at the heavier class and we will see what he's all about you know Del Chisora is going to come and bring the fire believe you me he's not going to stop he's just going to keep going and going and going biggest question is can Usyk keep him off I think he can do five or six rounds but at some point in this fight there's going to be times where he's going to have to try and tie him up you know maneuver him do something else he can't just run for 12 rounds it's not going to work I'm excited to see what happens on that note, lad. I've definitely got to go because that well, watch ringing was my wife, and I have definitely got to shoot off because they've finished school and I've left it on a jack. So, thank you very much. Stay tuned into IFL TV. Always a pleasure, and I will catch you all again very soon. Sorry, I've got to go. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.